Hey everybody, I have a new update. Get this. Final Destination 3D is going to have a two minute behind the scenes on a Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Due out January 5th of 2010. That's right, 2010, yo. Coming up. So anyways, I thought I'd just update you guys on that. They're going to have a behind the scenes on the makeup process of a Nightmare on Elm Street. That is freaking sweet. I want to see that documentary. Anyways, I just thought all of you guys should know that, and uh, as you know, I said I would update everybody on what's going on with the remake. They're currently um, doing some reshoots on the film right now. Brad Fuller has talked about that. So Jackie's wearing an outfit again, doing some reshoots, so it's going to be sweet. Can't wait till the film comes out on April 30th of 2010. Because it's going to be awesome. Anyways, I just thought I would update everybody on what's going on with the Nightmare on Street remake. So, yeah. That's what's going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, and apparently there is a, a cafe that's going to be in a Nightmare on Street remake. Brad Fuller showed a picture of it. It's called Springwood Cafe. And I saw a picture of it. It looks freaking sweet. Anyways, I cannot wait to see this film. It's going to be awesome. And I just thought I would update you guys on anything I know about it. So, also I would la also like to update everybody else about the this Jackie Earl Haley. Jackie Earl Haley is signed for three films of A Nightmare on the Street. Like, and I, um, if you want some proof, I have an interview of it on my page which I have found and apparently he said in order to get the part of Freddy Krueger he had to sign for three remakes so there's gonna be three movies yeah that's gonna be sweet anyways I cannot wait to see this movie it's gonna be awesome I know it's gonna be good and I am so excited for it so yeah and uh, and if in case you guys didn't know this uh, Wesley Strick is the one of the writers on A Nightmare on Street Remake, and he also wrote the remake of Cape Fear, starring Robert De Niro, and he is a fantastic writer. So not only does this film have a really good director, Samuel Bear, but also has a really good screenwriter. So um, Brad Fuller really did. You know everything perfect on this remake. He he got a great cast. He got a great set of actors, and I think it's going to be uh, probably the best film that New Line Cinema has made for a long time. This film is going to be incredible, and it's going to bring in new Freddy fans and old. And it's going to allow new stories to be told, and that's the great thing about remakes. They get people that never even heard of a Nightmare on the Street knowing about it and it allows new stories to be told because we already know the history of Freddy so let's hear a whole entirely different story but let's keep what made the character scary in the first place so they're going back to the dark intensity of the other of the first films basically and that's a great thing about this remake it brings back the darkness of Freddy and even before the remake was made, I said that the one thing they need to do is bring back the darkness of Freddy. And uh, Brad Fuller totally got that. And that's why he hired Samuel Bear, whose work includes very dark visuals. I mean, Smells Like Teen Spirit is an incredibly dark music video. So is... So is Zombie by the Cranberries. When I saw Zombie by the Cranberries, I knew Samuel Bayer was the perfect director to make to remake A Nightmare on Elm Street because he's going to use the dark intensity to tell the story of Freddy. And it's going to be incredible. Anyways, I thought I would update you guys on what's going on with the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. And I hope everybody's having a happy new year. And thanks.